all rise for Prince Austin. Well, hello. No. I found this in my garage. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, not the movie I was expecting. Today, we're gonna talk about Spencer. I need you guys in the comments down below. Let me know, are you a fan of this type of film? And did you enjoy this one? Let's do it. The marriage of Princess Diana and Prince Charles has long since grown cold. The rumors of affairs and a divorce abound. Peace is ordained for the Christmas festivities at the Queen's estate. There's eating, drinking, shooting, and hunting. Diana knows the game, but this year, things will be profoundly different. Spencer is an imagining of what might have happened during those fateful days. This movie, in its own strange but compelling way, is both haunting and traumatizing. It's a very in-depth look at Princess Diana as a character, played, could I use the word, exquisitely by Kristen Stewart. And I know the talk prior to this film, well, she's just not done it yet. The Twilights of the world, I can't say too much, my wife's a fan, she'll kill me. Uh, but <laughs> I've always seen something in there, and the independent movies she's been doing as of late have kind of been stepping stones, building her to this specific performance, but even then, I had a bit of hesitation going in. You look at the director here, Pablo Laurent, who's known for a very distinct style with a film like Jackie, uh, Natalie Portman got a lot of acclaim for that role. I haven't seen Jackie, so I didn't really know what to expect in terms of style and just the type of movie that we were going to get. Is this more of an audience-friendly, maybe faster-paced film that uh, does a lot of building surrounding multiple moments in her life, or is this a slower burn utilizing the technical elements as well as that compelling lead performance to tell a very distinct story, one that, at least a perspective of this character, that we have never really seen before. We know tales, and that's about it. And that's really what this movie is. And I'm very curious to see what audiences do respond to this film. It's a very artistic movie. Yes, it's neon, and that studio, uh, as of late, has been known for these types of films. But in that vein, you could look at a studio like A24. It's the same type of feeling. Are you compelled by the story, though? That's the question. Two people sitting above me, they weren't compelled. They were whispering throughout, and I was about to... I was about to go off. I'm about to go, shh, shh. But finally, I heard the guy say, this is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Got up, walked out, and I said, see you later then, pal. That's fine if you feel that way, but don't don't tell everybody. I, I, I didn't care. I don't know who that is. I don't care. And I had a bit of trouble at the beginning. I was trying to get on board with every stylistic choice. I think the film itself is beautiful, color grading, exquisite. The cinematography immaculate on a technical level. I didn't know it would be this good because again, not as familiar with the director's work, but it was amazing in that way. That being said, the film starts off with a lot of very slow moments, scenes that take just a second to get going. Uh, so many shots of cars coming into frame and cars pulling into buildings and people arriving for a series of events that's going to happen over the next couple of days. It's a Christmas movie. Doesn't feel like a Christmas movie, but it technically is. And there was just a lot of that. I understand what they were doing, the build-up aspect of it all, but I'm like, okay. And then you really start to see, once that dialogue starts to kick in, about 15 to 20 minutes with very minimal dialogue. I appreciate the stylistic choice, wasn't fully invested. When we start to get an insight into the way that she is processing all of this, how it has all been building up over the past couple of years, her mentality, the things that she sees that may not actually be there, uh, what she's going through physically that, again, audiences may not be as aware of. I love the fact that the movie takes its time with that and doesn't tell you exactly what she's going through, right? A lot of films will take the easy way out and say, oh, here's this, here's that. You lay it out on a nice little platter. Spencer says, no, 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 we're not going to tell you as much. We're going to show you very minimal dialogue, allow you to see what she's going through, figuring things out on your own, and then getting the mental aspect of it all as her whirlwind of a world starts to slowly but surely haunt her to the point to where she just can't take it anymore. And I felt that through the story progression. I felt that especially as we got into that third act, all of that buildup, just, oh my gosh, the way it was handled. But most importantly, I felt it through the performance. And Kristen Stewart genuinely gives, and this isn't a hype thing talking, because there's a lot of hype surrounding this movie, and or at least her performance. Her performance is incredible. It, it genuinely is. And she's someone that I've had to warm up to over the years because I just, not going to say Twilight, but I just haven't been all there with her. 
Now I am there. All it takes is one. And again, a series of films that she's been slowly getting there. But this is the performance and uh, the Oscar talk, you know, say whatever you will. I believe it's going to be warranted. I genuinely do after this performance. It's the perfect insight into Princess Diana. It really is, from the mannerisms to the way that she carries herself to the slow, mental, I can't take this anymore, and you get to see all of these moments, you know, her off by herself, her with her children, a couple of sweet, lighthearted moments, absolutely love the way it wrapped up, by the way, I'm not going to say how, but I love the way it wrapped up, it's just like the perfect, okay, we finally get that, which was super nice, and I also think it's interesting the fact that you know, you have a great cast surrounding her. Timothy Spall and Sean Harris, who I think gets more screen time. Uh, Sally Hawkins, who is incredible in this film. Uh, a great moment between her and Diana at, at the end of the movie. But you have this entire cast who's not really utilized as much as at least I thought they would be. There are so many moments where I said, yeah, here comes Charles. All right, here comes Charles. Where's Charles? Where's the queen? And they just never really show up. And they're there, and you get those scenes. Very minimal, but I actually really like that decision. I love that the focus is on Diana. You see things from her perspective, and you feel her world start. Well, not really start. She's been going through it. But uh, this is the point to where her life is at a low point, is what it seems like. In that way, it's as much of a psychological drama as it is a biopic. But it also has this darkly comedic edge. It's a claustrophobic, thrilling experience that mostly comes from the visuals, but it also comes from that mentality that you share with this character that so effortlessly comes from Kristen Stewart, and that's the type of performance that can take home awards at the end of the day, and I'm not going to say who's my favorite to do that at this point, but if you told me, Austin, yeah, she's going to win, I would say, yeah, at this point, I could definitely see it. My only major complaints, while the score itself I really enjoyed, I do wish they would have scaled back at times on that score. And again, the fact that it moves so slow in that first act, it's just, it's gonna take a second to grab you and I'm not entirely sure if everyone's going to be on board. That being said, if you like this review, drop your thumbs up down below. Let me know what is your favorite Kristen Stewart performance. Spencer is more than just your typical biopic. It peels back the layers of Diana's struggles through immaculate filmmaking and a devastatingly beautiful performance from Kristen Stewart. The film may take a second to grab you, but it is unlike any other experience this year. My score for Spencer is an 86%. I thoroughly enjoyed this experience. It definitely, uh, it stands out. It's one of the more unique experiences of the year, if that makes sense. And I really like the style of the director. I need to go back and see Jackie, and I'm really excited for Oscar season because you know this is going to play heavily in that. Also, hair and makeup. Can't forget about that. It was incredible. Okay, you guys the best. We'll have more reviews later on. I'll see you soon.